Lloyd's uh, uh, footsteps. Uh, and at least for a while, the French dominate uh, the early cinema market. Now, on uh, Christmas Eve, 1896, a big black bat flaps into a castle, uh, circles slowly, uh, uh, flaps its monstrous wings, and suddenly transforms into the devil. Uh, the audience gasps for a moment, then laughs, and horror cinema is born. A magician from the theatrical world has seized upon the Lumiere brothers' brand new scientific uh, apparatus, the movie camera. Uh, and the magician no longer needs a theater to conjure up his trickery. The world will now be his audience. That magician's name was George Malaise. Uh, Le Manoir del Diable, 1896, The Devil's Manor or Devil's Castle, with its image of the devil as a vampire bat, uh, is the first horror film and first vampire movie in atmosphere and feeling. Uh, not to mention uh, Mephistopheles' uh, screen debut, the, the devil's first uh, screen appearance. Uh, as I mentioned, the audience gasps in fright, then laughs. Uh, as the large bat flies in, circles around, uh, and transforms into Satan. Uh, the devil, now laughing, conjures up a cauldron and produces from it a beautiful woman. Uh, a little old man then comes out of the floor carrying a big book. Uh, the cauldron vanishes. The devil, who is not amused, makes hand gestures. A stream of ghosts, skeletons, witches, and cavaliers appear and disappear until one of the cavaliers brandishes a crucifix. The devil throws up his hands in fear and disgust, then vanishes into a, well, puff of smoke. Some of the Parisians in the audience that night spot the twinkle in the devil's eye and recognize George Malay's the mustached Mephistopheles since he has hosted hundreds of magical uh, theatrical spectaculars in Paris since 1888. Uh, well, the former shoe manufacturer and cartoonist was a spare-time hobby-minded magician until magic becomes his life and career. Uh, Malaise incorporates the new device slash invention of the motion picture camera into his act and reproduces stage illusions on film, becoming the first cinematic wizard or conjurer. Uh, audiences everywhere are astounded as Malaise creates the first cinematic devices. Uh, for example, the cameraman stops cranking the camera, then starts cranking it up again, while the position of an object or character is changed. Now, the audience sees no stops or starts in the film, only a seamless alteration. Uh, for example, a beautiful woman becomes a skeleton, presto changeo, a macabre transformation, life to death in a split second. And the horror film has taken its first step towards cinematic art. Uh, malaise was a clever little devil uh, and reuses the same sets, costumes, and characters. For example, the haunted castle uh, and the laboratory of Mephistopheles. Uh, he designs and builds himself a studio, star films, in his country garden. Uh, a combination uh, photographer's studio and magic theater. Uh, the stage includes uh, concealed traps, uh, movable panels, uh, hidden holes, uh, winches, pulleys, uh, catwalks, fantastic costumes, and grotesque makeup. The virtual mechanics of magic and illusion. Uh, Malaise mounts his camera on a runway and, uh, well, creates every trick in the cinema book. Stop frame action, uh, animation, uh, superimposition, uh, split screen, uh, dissolves, fades, models, miniatures, and even the subtitle card. In his first year as a cinematic director, producer, writer, set designer, and actor, 1897, uh, the world uh, was startled to see Satan's head detach itself and float around a room. Uh, this is in the laboratory of Mephistopheles. Now, uh, well, they're also uh, amazed to see a traveler run away in fright as his clothes come to life. This is in the Bewitched Inn. Uh, a hypnotist mesmerizes a beautiful young girl 
and strips her naked in the hypnotist at work. A scientist uh, uses an x-ray machine to extract a skeleton from a living body. In A Novice at X-rays, uh, the moon zooms down from the sky to swallow uh, a telescope in the astronomer's dream. And an old man sells his soul to the devil, not once, but twice, uh, in Faust and Marguerite and the damnation of Faust. This is just to name a few of the titles. Meanwhile, across the English Channel, uh, George Albert Smith, 